Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to box mold and cast a complex shape. For this example, I'm going to replicate this deer head key hook with long antlers. To start, I prepare a stable base for the master to sit on while I mold it. Using strips of duct tape sticky side up, I create an adhesive base to put the master on. And then I add a mold boxing. For the boxing on small moulds like this, I often use Lego bricks. I mix up a batch of mould making silicon. And pour it into the base of the mould box, slowly flooding the mould to avoid trapping air bubbles. When the silicon's cured, unbox the mould. This next part is the tricky bit. Using a scalpel or an X-Acto knife, I slice into the silicon using a zigzag cut, being careful not to cut into the master underneath. Wherever possible, put your cut lines on the back or the sides so that they're the least visible on your castings. Keep cutting deeper, layer by layer, to expose the antlers. Continue to cut in a zigzag pattern, not straight cuts. This is important because it helps the silicon mould key back together once you remove the master. As you can see in this diagram, a zigzag cut has no choice but to realign, whereas a straight cut can easily misalign, which will transfer into your casting as a step in the surface of the cast. After the master is out, gently realign the zigzag cuts back together. I then use a strip of duct tape or a large elastic band to stop it distorting or leaking when I fill it with resin. I mix up a batch of slightly translucent amber polyurethane resin and then I add a tiny amount of blue pigment to get the colour I want. I pour the resin into the mould enough to flood the antlers. However because of this shape there will be some air trapped so I raise the mould up on one end and then tip it side to side letting the trapped air bubbles rise to the surface and escape. Then I continue to fill the mould with resin, stopping again to let any trapped air escape. When the resin casting is cured, I can open up the mould again and gently ease out the casting, making sure not to damage the antlers. If your silicon mould was keyed together correctly, all you should be left with is some tiny thin flashings along the zigzag cuts, just trim those off with your knife. For this particular casting I wanted a flat back, so I gave it a quick touch on the sanding belt to smooth it off. And there you have it, a perfect replica of a complex shape. I hope you found this video useful, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.